any behind the scenes stories from my chart topping songs well um two of my songs chariot and hanukkah they charted on the billboard music charts and then one of them uh passover charted at number one on apple music some behind the scenes stories well passover i love that song it's just one of the biggest high holy days of the nation of israel for the israelites passover aka the feast of unleavened bread that's what that song is about about that holy day that the most High commanded his people to keep to celebrate yeah i just wanted to sing something about that and of course i added a little flavor of just i guess my personal feelings at the time so it's like a nice blend of creativity on that song so i'm, I'm proud that it charted um at number one on apple music <laughs> Um, Chariot was a song that was birthed from the teaching that I heard about the quote unquote UFOs that, you know, that are sighted sometimes in the sky. They are actually the chariots of the Most High. It's backed by scriptures in the Bible, how um, the prophets would explain these things in the sky. Just learning about that was just amazing. And that was one of the first teachings I heard when the Most High woke me up as an Israelite. And so I wanted to write a song about it. So it's a happy song and it's about basically the coming deliverance, the coming redemption uh, for the nation of Israel through our Messiah. So that's what that song's about. So I'm very proud that you know, everybody, the Z tribe, first of all, <laughs> I just want to talk about the Z tribe. The Z tribe really got that song to the charts. Um, it was something new I wanted to do. So I'm just so happy that the Z tribe saw the vision, saw what I wanted to do, saw what I, what I wanted to accomplish. And they just backed me all the way and got that song to number four. <laughs> so all phrases it only stayed on the chart for one week because i know the whole thing you have to sell the same amount of downloads every week to stay on that number four spot or to exceed it you have to sell even more the next week so i know how that works but just to be on there for just the first week and and knowing that my supporters the z tribe they got it they got that song there it's, it's a beautiful thing it's a blessing and um yeah that that's that's how that song came about my uh first i think that was my first ever teaching um for no my first ever teaching when i went to actually congregate in fellowship with like-minded israelites who are repenting so that's a little behind the scenes for that song so everybody that was a part of it uh lore Vince, of course my husband who made the beautiful awesome track um it's like a disney disney movie vibe <laughs> and then laura vins i think he added some drums on it or something like that and then my brother tola who added the the horn the horns to it so it's it's just it was a beautiful collaboration so yeah that's chariot and then hanukkah um i dropped that song right after chariot so it was another initiative so the z tribe helped that get that one up on the billboard charts too so i think for chariot we sold about 500 plus downloads it was like 530 something and then for hanukkah it was like almost 300 but it got it to the to the, to the billboard charts and i'm glad the gospel digital song sales uh billboard charts so um yeah hanukkah is another holy day it's it's cool because i'm just realizing that all three songs have to do with a holy day chariot is a future holy day and then passover is a holy day that we keep every year in the spring when christ was born and then hanukkah is another holy day that we um, celebrate in the winter about the rededication of the altar of the altar of god and so um yeah so aka the feast of dedication hanukkah is like another name <laughs> for it but um yeah that song was just me wanting to sing about that holy day because it's one of my top favorite holy days i mean i love all the holy days but hanukkah is one of my favorites it's about the tribe of levi and how the most high helped the tribe of levi and these certain brothers these mighty warriors it's all in the book of maccabees in the bible so 
you can read all about that and it's just when you read it it's like a movie and it's just one of my top favorite holy days in the bible so definitely had to write about that so my lord made the beautiful track on that one and the rest is history <laughs> so yeah thanks for asking about that